clicked onto this video because you want to know exactly which five free tools can you use for your YouTube thumbnails. I'm going to show you guys exactly which ones I use and the process that I make to make my thumbnails for my gaming channel. All these tools that I'm going to be giving you guys are all for free and we're going to make a thumbnail in the process of making this video. It's going to help you guys a ton. It's going to bring you a lot of value. Can't wait. Let's just get into it. Right now, our end goal is to try to make the thumbnail kind of look like this. I'm gonna go into our first tool that's completely free. You absolutely need the screenshot YouTube. This is a very useful tool, especially if you're trying to screenshot a character in a video game. This little plugin will save you so much time. Instead of looking at the video, going full screen, screenshotting it with your keys on your keyboard, you can literally just press it with a button and it will give you the best quality ever. You don't have to be full screen for this, but as you can see down here, there is a little button that says screenshot. Click screenshot. There's gonna be a save file in your downloads folder and your web browser that you're on. So when you click over here and you open the file and it's gonna show this. And you could use this image for your thumbnail. Let's say you're trying to get a character or something specific, right? That is one tool that you can use to your advantage and it won't diminish the quality. The quality ends up being really freaking nice actually. Now the second tool that I'm gonna show you guys is completely free. It's called Remove BG, AKA Remove Background. If you're trying to make these reaction faces and stuff, I would probably not wear glasses because it can mess with like the background and stuff. So try to like not wear glasses. I think it would be easier and less editing on your end. Take a couple pictures like that. It could be a blank white wall or it could be a green screen. Try to make sure it's plain and you are really well lit so it can cut you out very evenly. The site is trying to figure out like how to cut out the background from you, right? So we're trying to create either a PNG of ourselves or of like a character in a video game. I have a couple shots here that I've used before. I already have these edited myself, but let's say I want to do like maybe this one, right? I've already done this before. You see my face and look at that clean cut. It is a very nice clean cut. No work at all. I didn't, I didn't have to do anything. All I had to do was press download, boom, and I already have it right here, look. So now you have a clean PNG image of yourself cut out within seconds. If I'm trying to look for a character, I would try to put like the name of the game or whatever name of product or whatever name you're trying to find and put PNG at the end of it to see if you could cut some time on that, right? So there's a lot of characters here that don't have PNGs. This one does. Perfect, right? So I'm gonna go and probably see if I can save it. Now it's a WebMB file, so that sucks. I cannot save it. Now if I go in and maybe if I click it on Reddit, right? Let me see if I can save it here. So when it says PNG, you're good to go. You don't have to do any editing on that. Let's find one that you need editing in. Right? Let's say example, like we wanna cut this out, right? So let's save that. We have this one right here. This one's already cut out. It's already a PNG for us. That's perfect, right? We don't have to worry about that one. And we also have our self cut out too with the same tool that we were using before. We wanna make this a PNG. How can we make this a PNG? Let's upload an image. Let's pick the image that we want. Let's see what it does. We basically have this cut out, which is perfectly fine. I don't think it's a big deal on my end. I would gladly take this. Let's say we want to cut this out. We don't want this in our image, right? So what we can do is erase here and just click it. Boom. It is completely gone. We are done with our editing process. We could download the image. We have a clean PNG file of this image right here. We have a PNG of ourselves. We have a PNG of a character that we found online for free. And then we had one here that we got from the internet, but we needed to cut it out. So we removed it and now it looks like this, right? So now we're going to get into the next tool, which is called Photopea or Photop. I don't know exactly how to say it. Basically, it's a free version of Photoshop online that you can use. Let's try to make the thumbnail really quick on this site so I can show you guys step by step how I do them. Now, when you start with the new project, you definitely want it to be 1280 by 720 because that's the thumbnail size for YouTube. So definitely keep it like that. So I found the image I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this one right here. 
Now, what I would like to do is, since this has like a little bit of writing here on the outside, I'm gonna zoom in on it so you don't see it, right? And then so we can have this background here. Let's just add a blur to it. I like to add a Gaussian blur. I like to do like around 4.0. Okay, perfect, nice. Okay, so now we got a background with a nice blur behind it. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna create a border. This is gonna be like an extra bonus thing that's a free tool. But let's say you want to do a color scheme right now for my gaming channel i have like this reddish kind of color scheme going on and i kind of want to do the same color i don't want to change it so the way to get the exact color is by downloading an extension that gives you a color drop tool we have the color right here it just copied it for us so all you have to do is click the little extension click the color you want it's going to give you the hex code right there it's already copied for you so now we could go back in here and we could start making a border we're going to create a rectangle we're going to leave fill at the x and then i think it's stroke we could leave it at black for now and let's just click red for now so we could just show you guys how this works right we're going to start here right and it should lock on to the box that you're trying to do it's all about the size here so you're going to make this a little bit bigger you have to layer it correctly so make sure that your rectangle border is at the top say you don't you want to use your own custom color right like you don't like how we just copied the color code so i'm going to put a gradient first i'm going to go to the gradient section here our color from the hex code that we got what i'm going to do is copy that and paste it onto the bottom right here where it's white we're going to do this paste it here but now we have this border color that we have now. I'm going to put my PNG over there really quick. For this, all you have to do is really just get the file and drag it on top of the project. For my suggestion, when it comes to like these types of thumbnails, make them really big because YouTube thumbnails are really small. Even though it might be like a little bit over exaggerated, you're not. Trust me, you're not over exaggerating. You want it to be at the right spot like this, right? Layer the shape or the rectangle that you just made. Put it on top. Let's just say we want to make like a little um, glow because that's what we kind of had earlier. We got an outer glow here glowing a little bit there. That's pretty cool. And you know, you kind of have to just like mess around with this. We'll do a normal here. We could do like 100% there. A nice white like glow so we stand out a little bit more, right? Let's put some text, right? Let's try to see if we could find ultra gothic. This is what I like to use a lot. Uh, let's make the size a little bit bigger. Do a white, right? Okay, so we have the white here, which is good. So we're gonna do some strokes. Oh, and a drop shadow. That's what we want. We want something like this. It's actually kind of close to what we're trying to do. Let's say you don't want to redo like some text. Control C, Control V, and you can make a copy of it, right? So we'll do, we'll make this one Wuthering Waves. We're just trying to do this quick so you guys could like just really see how these tools work. Let's put our PNGs in there. So we're going to put this guy in there really quick, right? We got to put him all the way up here and large him a little bit more. Layer him a little bit lower like that so he's behind everything. Let's do like an outer glow and a drop shadow. That are actually already looks pretty good actually. I actually like that. Uh, I kind of want to put him over here. I want to make sure that when I layer this, I want this behind me. And then let's put our other PNG, which is this one. I guess you can't copy pasta this. I don't know why. So just click outer glow and drop shadow. I would say that's not bad. <laughs> it looks a lot better on the one that I made, but that's because I took a lot of time and effort to make it. I made this really quick just to give you guys an example of like how you can make these things work. The next tool that I want to show you guys that is very, very useful website called Thumbs Up TV. So a lot of people don't know about this uh, site. I use it a lot. It lets you upload your thumbnail and it lets you preview it before uploading it on YouTube. So you can like have it up there and you could like mess with your title, see what titles stand out and stuff. You're just gonna click here so you can upload it and then you're gonna see your thumbnail in like different formats, right? So you see it like this in home large, home small, sidebar. Uh, this is a really good tool to use. Like I love using it just to get a nice glimpse of like what my thumbnail might look like. Five best tools for YouTube thumbnails right and it looks like that after i'm done like editing making the thumbnail complete i like to come here get a little preview try to feel it out see how it looks and then go with a final title and the final thumbnail look but so far so good it actually doesn't look that bad it kind of looks like my gaming channel ones a little bit doesn't look as pristine i would say 
but it looks good enough. Now, the final tool that I'm gonna give you guys that is completely free, I legit use it all the time for everything. It's called Snapdrop. I know a lot of computers don't have AirDrop or Bluetooth or, or Wi-Fi on it. So if you wanna AirDrop your thumbnail that you just made, right, you can click here, click this, but you have to be on the website itself on your phone. So it's gonna look like this, right? This is the mobile version. Because you are known as Rose Smelt. I don't know if you guys can see that at the bottom. Because you are known as Rose Smelt. And then over here, I see Rose Smelt, so I'm gonna click it, click this. It's gonna tell me, hey, do you wanna save this image, right? It's literally an airdrop, you save it. It's gonna tell you, hey, do you want to download it? Yeah, sure. Hello. I want my thumbnail, right? And then you just save it. It's like how you save any other photo. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. And then look, I already have my thumbnail on my phone. That's how I use it mainly so I could promote my videos to let people know that, hey, I posted a video. Go check it out and stuff. So that is one great tool. My backup to Snapdrop is Dropbox. If you've never used Dropbox, it's literally the same thing. It works the same exact way. It's just you have to download the app on your mobile device. And when you do that, you upload it through Dropbox and you could download it on the app itself. That's like a backup just in case a Snapdrop doesn't work because sometimes it doesn't work. I hope that this video brought you a ton of value and I hope that you learned something new. Maybe you were surprised as I was when I first saw these tools. I had no idea that these existed and it definitely helped out my flow when it comes to actually creating my content giving me the chance to execute on time so i could put out the content out there for others to see let me know in the comments below if i missed anything if the tools are going to be helpful for you or you're going to use them let me know in the comments below please i would love to get your feedback on that thank you so much for watching this video and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace out later